Hashtag Xiaomi number one and hashtag Xiaomi lang sa kalam. Totoo pa kaya yan this 2023? Many of you would say oo and many of you would say no. Dahil for me, ah, nafe-feel ko na the rise of the Tension brand and it's composed of Techno, Itel, and Infinix. These three brands have been really so hot. Techno Camon 20 Pro 5G, si Infinix Note 30 VIP, and si Itel S23 Plus. All of this has been groundbreaking. Sobrang ganda, manipis, mura, and ang ganda ng specs. Well, it's the same formula din na ginamit ni Xiaomi. So, are you team Xiaomi or are you team Tension? Comment on the comment section. Tara, pag-usapan natin. Xiaomi has been a fan favorite before. Ang formula nila before is to be please their fans. Listen to their fans sa community, sa forum, and one of their biggest success is to have the Xiaomi forum before. But unfortunately, sinara nila and turn it to the Xiaomi community, which didn't really take off sa opinion ko. Correct me if I'm wrong, si Xiaomi forum has over 21 million fans all over the world. And nung lumipat sila sa Xiaomi community, they weren't able to replicate the same success. Ako personally, I have been a big Xiaomi fan before since 2013 and one of the reason bakit nabili ba sa company nito is their big support sa fans and of course ang kanilang cut the pricing we've seen the success ng Redmi Note 7, Redmi Note 8 Pro and si Redmi Note 10 Pro and pati mga flagship series ni Xiaomi Xiaomi 3, Xiaomi 5 and even si Xiaomi 10T Pro and 9T Pro has been one of the best sellers from the company ngayon you'll rarely hear some hot kicks from Xiaomi the last one was the Redmi Note 10 Pro, which was really one of the hottest selling na Note series ni Xiaomi. And they blew it sa Redmi Note 11 series kasi 1080p and 30fps front recording camera. It's really a letdown to many fans out there, me included. We've seen some changes to Xiaomi Note 12 series, but it wasn't really enough to pull them back up there. Xiaomi Note 13 series probably is a redemption, but hindi ko pa rin na feel eh, na sobra siyang Mapapa wow ka tulad ng Infinix and si Itel. Sa flagship series naman, you've seen the change from Xiaomi 12 to Xiaomi 13 series with a plus 10 to 11k price tag difference because of the Leica branding. And personally, na feel ko, iba na rin ang aura, iba rin na rin ang approach ng Xiaomi from before to now. And since the fall of Huawei, not really na it's the fall, it's more of the US ban that caused them to fall down from number 3 ranking down to somewhere else na hindi na natin alam. Kung may bumagsak, syempre may umangat. Si Xiaomi umangat to number 3 spot. And probably I'm not sure kung dahil dyan, nagbago lahat, iba ng paningin nila, wow, number 3 na kami. We're in world's number 3. For me, it's not really that Xiaomi beat Huawei to that. But for me personally, it's more of the US band na nagpaangat kay Xiaomi. It's more of a cheat code. Hindi nila talaga pinaghirapan yan. We've seen some brilliances of Xiaomi sa DxO Mark, but si Xiaomi 13 Ultra only ranks number 13 sa DxO Mark ranking. Kahit may like pa to. Ang tunay na number 1, Huawei P60 Pro. The secret formula that catapult Xiaomi to success is 1. Listening to their fans, fan favorites sila. 2. It's their cutthroat na pricing. Lowest price possible and best specs possible. That's one of the reasons kung bakit sobrang bilis ng pag-angat ni Xiaomi. And dahil nandun na sila sa taas, nag increase ng price. Mga pangit na specs. So, hindi na nila na-sustain. That's also the same formula na ginamit ni Infinix, ni Itel, and of course, ni Tecno to boost themselves up there on top right now. So, as long as Xiaomi is not doing anything to bring back their old formula, I don't think na Xiaomi would still be number one. And si Xiaomi would still be sa kalam. Makita naman natin on our reviews na si Redmi Note series medyo na-diffuse, nag-die out ng kanyang ingay. And the only market disruptor right now for Xiaomi is si Poco. We've seen the Poco F5, F5 Pro, F4, X4 GT. Those are some of the best sellers ng Poco. And yes, of course, nagdi-disrupt pa rin sila ng presyo kahit papaano. But hindi siya kasing sustainable ng Redmi Note 10 Pro series that has been there for around mga 3 years. And yun talaga masasabi ko, sobrang in-demand ang Redmi Note 10 Pro. And kung nag-finafollow niyo mga ibang Xiaomi na vloggers like si Frankie Tech and si Tech Tablets, they also express their displeasure with Xiaomi, yung support nila, and they have been there no malit pa si Xiaomi, like me, sinuportahan ko using my channel Xiaomi Review, which is not really active anymore right now because of the lack of support. And probably si Xiaomi 13 Ultra might be my last Xiaomi na flagship na gagamitin ko, unless magbago sila. But of course, we'll still continue reviewing Xiaomi, Redmi, and Poco phones dito sa ating channel, 
Nothing will change naman sa ating review format. So guys, Xiaomi number one pa rin ba sa inyo? Hit the comment section below. And of course, there are still some good Xiaomi phones that I can recommend to you. Check the description box below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like. And of course, subscribe to my channel. And so, ang para si Richmond, and you're watching Gadget Psychic. Like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. For one of my latest uploads, click the dito. And for one of my popular uploads, click here.